Make yourself at home in this world. From where you are now, you can probably see it all. You know now that hospitals are not the worst places of human despair. The back alleys of the city, the shadows, the places of interminable tortures, the battlefields. All the places where human misery and inequity try to avoid the light of day are now open to your vision. Tell me, dear soul, is it true that we live only in a dream, at a dizzying speed, and then move on to leave a space for others? Others for whom we must leave a clean place setting. Does the individual count for nothing? Are we only preserving the general features of humanity? The broad brushstrokes? I know you can't answer these questions, but you're welcome anyway. Come in, share the banquet, share this dance. You had no identification. Your clothing was torn. No rape occurred. What did you have that had to be paid for with your life? Spare change. Jewelry. In other words, nothing. Typical. Time to begin. Immediately I noticed the bruised and fractured carcass. The bastard. Bruce Platisma. The spaces indicate she was either being strangled or an unintentional leverage point. Struggle for air, for life. I notice she has suddenly begun to smile. For a brief moment, I think she's trying to ease my pain, my remorse, for seeing her like this. But then I remember it's simply rigor mortis setting in. Dried blood is caked in her mouth. She knew she was dying. I'd like to think she cracked a good in the mouth. The lacerations on her knuckles indicate the possibility. That's my girl. Wait. A closer look. Well, I'll be damned. A piece of the bastard's tooth. A DNA business card with a name and address. She got you. She got you, you bastard. There's still one more thing left for you to do. You've allowed me to step inside your circle. Allow me to search your body for answers. Now let me reach into your soul. I need your name. People think I'm a knight, a savior. But in truth, I'm only a vessel to hold the memories of those who've passed on. Those who've no shell left to store them. They must think I revel in my victories. It must seem like I never lose a fight. I lose plenty. The ones I couldn't get to. The ones I couldn't save in time. Those are the ones I carry around inside of me. Those are the ones I'll mourn forever. Excuse me. Do any of you know this woman? That's Chelsea. She comes in here all the time. She, um, left here only a couple of... What are you... Oh, God. No. Dear girl. Luckily, you hadn't digested your last meal, Chelsea. There are only a few places in the neighborhood where you were found. A your blueberry pie at this hour of the morning. You only have your thoughts and dreams ahead of you. You're someone. You mean something. I'll remember. You're within me now. Forever. <laughs>